Good morning everyone, I am Parvati from Christine Gardens of Physiotherapy. So today I am here to say some few things about Spina Bifida. So what is Spina Bifida? So it is a birth defect in which there will be incomplete closing of the spine and the membranes around the spinal cord. It mostly occurs during the early stage of pregnancy. Types of Spina Bifida There are three types of Spina Bifida. They are Spina Bifida Occulta meningosal and myelomeningosal. First type is spina bifida occulta. So this is the mildest form of spina bifida. So in this the outer part of some of the vertebrae is not completely closed. As the splits are so small the spinal cord does not protrude. So this remains asymptomatic in most cases. Clinical features of spina bifida occulta, dimple like structures in the lower back, soft fatty deposits, growth of hair. The second type is meningosal. So this is the least common form of spina bifida. So in this a single developmental defect allows the meningus to herniate between the vertebrae. So unlikely individuals with this do not have long term health problems as the nervous system remains undamaged. Clinical features of meningosal sac exists that protrudes outside the spine. Depending upon the level of lesion, bladder and bowel incontinence may be present. Third type is myelomeningosal which is also known as meningomyelosal. This results in causing severe complication as it affects the meningus and nerves. So in this the unfused portion of the spinal column allows the spinal cord to protrude through an opening. So this occurs mostly during the third week of embryonic development. Clinical features of myelomeningosal, flaccid or spastic paralysis, musculoskeletal deformities like scoliosis, club foot, etc. Bladder incontinence. Causes. The exact cause is not known but yet it could be mainly due to genetic and environmental factors. Diagnosis of spina bifida. Before birth, ultrasound of spine, alpha fetoprotein blood test, after birth, MRI, CT scan and x-ray. Complications of spina bifida. Urinary tract infection, hydrocephalus, brain meningitis. Management, medical management, there is no specific medications are prescribed. Surgical management, surgery is often performed early after birth but it may get severe which depends upon the defect. PT management, our aim is to improve mobilization, to correct posture, to promote gait, to improve radial activities. For this to improve mobilization, assistive mobility aids like crutches and walkers can be used. Uh, gait training programs can be undergone to improve range of motion and muscle power range of motion exercise and strengthening exercise can be teached orthosis can also be given